Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hey, Amy Landecker. Hi, Valder. Thank you for joining us. You know, you're much anticipated as the third season of the award-winning, critically acclaimed, Transparent. Give yes. us the inside scoop. I want something that they're going to say, wow. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. I don't want to give too much away, but there is a... Uh, cruise that takes place. Uh, we go to Puerto Vallarta. The Pfeffermans go on their first family vacation. Um, and uh, it, Judith Light has one of the most exquisite scenes on the boat. Um, I'll just say she sings an Alanis Morissette song, and I haven't told anyone else that. <laughs> Ooh, that's a wow. <laughs> yeah. So that's my big scoop for you. <laughs> but thank you. I like that. But, you know, you're a wow yourself. You know, I was doing my research. Oh. And, you know, your dad... Yes! Your dad has this voice that I love. I didn't know that was your dad, yes, John. Yes, my dad is Rickard John. Landecker. That's right. He's a WLS disc jockey who was on the air my whole life. Uh, he also worked at CFTR in uh, Canada, and uh, he was on uh, the air in Cleveland for a while. Um, so, yeah, he's uh, he, he's... Been, I think he just actually stopped WLS about a year ago, so he, he's been a long time disc jockey. He has a voice to die for. Aww. Those of us in radio uh, and television know his voice so very clearly, so you're such a lucky kid. I am. He's a great guy. I just took him to the Emmys, so he's feeling like a lucky dad, too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're lucky, too. Now, you're on Transparency with Jeff Jeffrey Tambor. Mm -hmm. I mean, how great is that? It's been incredible. Uh, he's one of the best actors on the planet. Judith Light, uh, as I referenced before, also plays Love my her mom. Too. I, I pinch myself daily going to work. Um, they're just, you know, seasoned veterans who know the ins and outs of this business, and they're both having probably the two greatest moments of their career, you know, um, later in life. And it just is this celebration of, um, you know, sort of lifelong uh, contributions to entertainment and to sort of culminate in these incredible roles and to bear witness to that has just been a huge Well, gift. the public has awarded you guys for that. If I'm correct, you guys have two Emmys for the show? Actually, it was three this year. We won um, Production Design, Direction, and Jeffrey for Best Actor. So, That yeah. is so, I, I think that's so incredible for a show that's on a streaming it's, network. Well, it's time has come, but yeah. it's out of the box. Yeah, absolutely. The show's out of the box. The network's out of the box. Uh, and the <laughs> fact that it's been um, so, you know, em embraced. So we actually won the Golden Globe for Best Comedy just three months after our release. So it's it's been a it's been embraced by the critics from the moment we came out. And I feel like now uh, the rest of the world's finding us, and it's so exciting. Okay, it's so exciting. You're in the third season. Uh, uh, tell me about that ex-husband of yours. What's he doing this season, or what are you doing to him? Well, I, God knows. Uh, uh, Rob Hubel uh, plays my ex-husband, Len, and we decide to move back in together and see if we can raise our kids together, live together, but date other people. Um, so we're not together as a couple, but we are um, together as a family and uh, seeing if we can make that work and you know some of it works well and some of it doesn't work so well so you'll have to watch and find out well you guys are can i say art imitating life or life imitating art don't know which one. <laughs> oh no 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 my uh my boyfriend's bradley whitford i do not <laughs> my boy i did meet my boyfriend on the show but he's not he's not rob hubel so there's no <laughs> no life imitating art he actually bradley plays always plays characters in the past um, so people always ask me, 
you know, what it's like working with him. But I actually never crossed paths with him on the show. But, um, but yeah. Um. <laughs> well, well, that's pretty. Well, that's pretty. Uh, I'm not gonna say cutting edge because so many people are doing what you say you and your ex-husband on the show are doing. Yeah, that's the first, true. The first couple I saw do that was um, old Sarah Ferguson and Andrew. Yes, that's right. No, that's yeah, right. They were the first couple. Yeah, the, and we were all shocked. Yeah, you're we, right. And I think um, our show creator uh, Jill has been going through. Um, some similar exploration with her ex-husband and how they want to raise their kids. And I know I'm very close to my ex-husband. I don't live with him, but um, we're good friends. And uh, so I think it is sort of part of modern families that, uh, you know, you kind of figure out are there ways to get along and be together as a family still um, and, you know, but be, but live separately. So Well, I call it divorce done right. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's yeah. best for the kids for sure. Okay, so we got the third season. Tell us when. I know it's coming up soon. Yes, we uh, premiere Friday, uh, September 23rd. All 10 episodes will drop on Amazon Prime. So you can binge. If you haven't watched the show yet, you can watch season one, two, and go right into three. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope everybody finds it. I love it. Thank you so much for doing great work. Oh, great thank television. You. We really like it. Thank you so much. Thanks for being my guest today on the Valder Beebe Show. All right. Take care.